A Redskins cheerleader got the surprise of her life tonight when her husband, a Marine Corps lieutenant, home early from a tour of duty, dropped in at practice. What was your reaction? <laughs> My legs turned to jello. <laughs> and that's not just from practicing all night. No, it's not. I saw him and I, I just couldn't stand up anymore. He had to hold me up. Lieutenant Denver Edick was in Iraq, then Afghanistan. He wasn't supposed to come home until July, but got to return sooner. While he was away, his wife Kristen earned a prize spot on the Skins cheerleading squad. I'm a very lucky man, obviously. Um, and I, I believe I was more nervous today than I was on our wedding day. So, uh, But it's just a, a blessing. Kristen Edick had been practicing all night with her fellow cheerleaders, unaware that her husband was coming. The director was in on the surprise. It's so nice to see these girls, the other side of their lives, because I work with them, you know, just five, six, seven, eight, get in line, and just be able to kind of have a, a window to what her life is like and what it must have been like while he's been away overseas. Um, it was just very touching. Now they plan to hang out, watch a few movies, and Edick says he'll obviously be at all the Redskins games. Take a little vacation, um, a lot of catching up to do, obviously. Yes. Um, yeah. Just uh, not get any further than a couple inches from each other. For Staff Sergeant Christina Taylor, her second deployment was the hardest. The everyday things that everybody you take for granted here, you don't you don't get to see them, the little things, the medical, the, the school. Okay. Well, I'm walking slowly. Keep them away from the window. I'm getting ready for first days or last days, dances. Um, you get to see it through pictures and video, and it's not the same um, as being there, part of it. You make it through and you do the best you can because it's the job that I signed up for. They're at the counter, okay. Today, a chance to surprise her kids. I hope he doesn't know. My son works at Wendy's and the lady he stayed with, the family he stayed with, um, hooked it up to um, surprise him to say I'm coming home. My daughter has just dropped off and they think that they're going to be picked up from my friend to go pick me up at the airport. Hey! Hey, bud. As family and friends looked on, I love you so much, bud. Oh, I love you too, mom. A tearful um, reunion. Another chapter is finished. I don't have to leave my kids again oh. ever. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you want to do when I come home? Netflix. <laughs> Get a drive. I love you too, sweetie. For these kids, it didn't really matter what they did. We're getting pizza down tonight. We are? But that they could finally share it with their mother. Going to the In Lebanon, Matt Rist, CBS 21 News. Thank you, John. 
Todd Riddle, and congratulations to Scott Kramer, Senior Dad, Staff Sergeant, Raymond Kramer, thank you for your service. He will be soon. We're back on this Thursday. It's 530, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! <laughs> this year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla's seen her in person. Thank you, too. Her mom, Liesl Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small drag, small tanks, but I mostly cross train into working on Humvees and five tons and wreckers. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly, and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just going to stay at home. Stay at home and spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam. In Tidman's office. Right over here. Right here. Where is she?
name is Master Sergeant David Sims, U.S. Air Force. I've just come home from a six-month deployment in Afghanistan, and I'm here today with the Atlanta Braves to surprise my family. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. Uh, my family doesn't know what's going on, and so I'm looking forward to seeing the expressions of surprise on their face. This is Master Sergeant David Sims, U.S. Air Force, assigned to headquarters ISAF in Afghanistan. I want to send out my greetings to all my family there, especially to my wife, Robin, and my kids. I love you all so much, and I miss you. I hope you're having a good time there with the Atlanta Braves. I can't wait to be with you again. In fact, wait one minute. What do you think, guys? What do you think? That was good. 